starts getting, you know, all these things on Google about um, your poor service or your your um, your um, charging me even though it should have been refunded, just know that that's why you got it. Okay. Hey there, what's going on? My name is Liam with the company Yard Dogs. In today's video, we're gonna try something new. We're gonna to react to an angry customer call that happened yesterday there. So I actually haven't listened to the call until right now, so I'll be reacting live. All I really know is that she was threatening like, to leave us a bad Google review, bad Facebook review. I was gonna like get really pissed off at, like on all the social platforms on Google and where all these bad reviews. So that's all I really know, and I believe it's due to like a, a cancellation fee that we're trying to impose. So let's hear the, the call and then I'll be reacting live and let's see what maybe, it, we'll see if she's unreasonable, see if maybe our customer service reps kind of handle it better. But I'll just be doing my analysis throughout the video here or throughout the call and uh, we'll go from there. All right, let's get started. Good afternoon, Angela. This is Mackenzie with your dog. How can I help you? Hi, Mackenzie. I was talking with Amy on the weekend. Yeah. I was going to have um, you folks come and do fertilizing and all of that stuff. Mm-hmm. Uh, I have this in the yard. Um, and my is And so what we figure is the folks who put it in top soil underneath the sod. And so that's why it's dead. Anyway, I, I needed to make sure that it got canceled. I left a message, um, I left a couple of messages actually trying to get through to you guys to make sure that they didn't come and fertilize my dick right now. Okay, yeah, for sure. Uh, just give me one second here, Angela. I'm just going to put you on hold, okay? Thank you. All right, so basically what's going on like right now, I think she got cut out just a little bit there at the very start, but so she hired a landscaping company. I, sh I know this part because I talked to her customer success manager there. So like she hired a landscaping company to resod her whole lawn, I think a year or two years ago. And then apparently they never actually put any topsoil beneath the, the sod. So what she, where she's coming from, like from her point of view is that the landscaping company messed up because they never put the dirt underneath. It's so like, therefore, whatever we do is not gonna do anything good at all. So she wants to cancel with us because the landscaping company needs to come redo what they did already. So that's kind of where it's at. Uh, but because the Hi Angela, sorry about that. That's all right. Okay, sorry, I was just, I was doing a little bit of running around there. Um, so I can absolutely cancel this here for you, uh, but because the booking was made so recently here, um, we do have a 10% cancellation fee, which in your case is $42.97. Um, really? Yes. So you're trying to encourage me not to come back when I get my lawn fixed up? No, uh, of course we yeah. we do. Well, you know what? I wasn't told that there was a cancellation fee um, if I needed to cancel, so I think I would take exception with that. Okay, just give me one. Okay, so a bit of background here. So customer service reps, they have a hell of a job. Like they are taking shit day after day, every 10 minutes. There's a new call like this. So I don't want to criticize our customer service reps like too much. However, I think in this situation, she should have clarified just to kind of understand the situation a bit better. Like number one, like obviously like this girl right here, she got landscaping done. It wasn't done properly and landscaping for every landscaper out there. Landscaping is not a hundred dollars or $50. It's thousands of dollars. So it's probably four to $5,000 worth of sodding that she's got done. And now she's got to go fix that. So to be empathetic and to be in her situation there and to put like ourselves in her shoes, she's at negative 5,000 rate that she's got to go and redo now. And then we're telling her like the icing on the cake is that, oh yeah, by the way, you're gonna have a $42 and 20 cent cancellation fee. Doesn't fit very well, you know? I think where we're coming from from the cancellation standpoint is that like, we it's something that new that we're trying to like, right now is that like, yes, if somebody books in call it yesterday and then they cancel with us like today, like within one or two days, that's not, like, I'm not a big fan of that because number one, all of our people have got to spend all this time on the phone selling them. There's credit card fees of about 3%. And 
And then all of a sudden, oh yeah, by the way, two days later, I want to cancel. It's like, there should be a cancellation fee for that. But in this situation right here, where she's already out thousands of dollars, I'd say that cancellation fee should be voided. One more second here, okay? Hi, Andrea. Sorry about that. Hello. Um, so it is mentioned in our terms and services um, with the confirmation email that was sent there. And unfortunately, this is well, I haven't opened it yet. And I've been calling you since Saturday afternoon. I booked yes. it on Saturday and I went out to the yard and it was half of my yard is totally dead. I raked it up and there is no grass. So I'm not paying $750 for you guys to come. I went in the house and you guys are already closed. And no, I haven't opened the email and no, you, I didn't agree to that when I gave you my credit card number. So I think you need to do something about it. Regardless, Unfortunately, it's out of my hands at this point. I'm only able to refund that um, difference. So I have here that your package is four hundred and twenty nine dollars and sixty eight cents. Okay. Uh, yeah. And you're going to be receiving three hundred and eighty six dollars and seventy one cents. Okay, so you can put that through, but you need to know that I will call Better Business Bureau, and I am going to make lots of noise online about how you did this. Just so you know. I'm very sorry about that, Angela. I when you have it. reviews that say, I called, I wanted to book it, I, I, the grass is, is totally dead out there, so I tried to cancel it the same day, and you charged me 50 bucks, I'm sure nobody will want to work with you people. To be fair, Angela, I do see here that you have tried calling us, but we have also tried yeah. returning your calls multiple times. That is true. Like, uh, so she's like, oh yeah, you guys never return my calls, but I, ch I checked the record here on her uh, profile. Like she called twice over the weekend, Saturday, Sunday. We're not open Saturday, Sunday. We tried calling her on Monday and uh, no answer from her. So Time, I even left you so I'm yeah. to do that's not there. Today. Yes, and I also called you yesterday and I do have- Yeah, you called her and I'm, I don't know if you know this, but people who can afford your service work during the day. And I happen to work in a jail and no phones are allowed in there. I called you. So like, how are we supposed to know that? How can we control like, and know exactly when each of our customers work and exactly what hours and where they work? Like, there's no way. We returned the call. She called us on a weekend. We returned it on a Monday morning, completely good. And then she never got back to us. Like, that's not our fault. I, you know, I understand that she's frustrated with that, but at the end of the day, we can't control everyone's work schedule and call them at the exact time. We call them back, they don't answer. We leave a voicemail and then they hopefully call us back. Yesterday, I called you today, I called you Saturday, I called you Sunday, I've called you every day. Because I wanted to make sure that you didn't actually go out. Now, if you had arrived at my house and I canceled, that'd be a whole different thing because you actually showed up to do a service. But I went out of my way to make sure that you guys all right, if you don't get a hold of us like through phone calling on the weekend when most, when our, it actually says on our Google profile, like close Saturday, Sunday, try sending us an email, try submitting a form. There's more than one way of communicating with us. You guys didn't show up. For sure. And we do appreciate that. But as I mentioned to you, unfortunately, it's out of my hands at this point. Okay. I, just so you know, when, when you start getting, you know, all these things on Google about um, your poor service or your, your, um, uh, your um, charging me, even though it should have been refunded, just know that that's why you got it. Absolutely. And Google never goes away. Google never goes away. My daughter got a bad review five years ago, and it's still there. And I understand that you're frustrated about that, Angela, but like I said, unfortunately, it is out of my hands, and that is our policy. See, like, in this situation, I think it's good to be a bit apathetic, like with the customer too, and just understand why exactly she's canceling, right? And the reason why right there is that she paid thousands of dollars for sodding. It wasn't done properly. So she's out the 5,000 or whatever it's going to cost. And then now she's getting stiff with a $50 cancellation fee. 
It sucks for us because like, hey, we spent about 20 minutes booking their in, got to pay for credit card fees, and then now we got to pay for you know customer service. All the time that's being wasted, all the inefficiencies, just for a, a you know a book one day and then a three days cancellation. So it sucks for us. It's like she's got to see that too that it's not very efficient for us just to book and then cancel three days later. But we got to also put ourselves in her shoes as well and say, okay, hey, she's out five thousand. You know, inflation's on the rise. Everything like cost of everything's just gone up. Is it the right thing to stiff her with a 10% cancellation fee right now when she's already out like the thousands of dollars? Probably not. That's going to add like salt to the wound. It's not the best thing to do. So I think there's a bit of fault on both sides here. Like I think she's being a bit unrealistic, especially with the calling. Oh, yeah, I've never returned the calls. Well, yeah, it's on the weekend. Um, and then as well as just like, you know, the inefficiencies of like, hey, call a new business, booking in, and then all of a sudden like three days later, just canceling. Like that's not the greatest for a company, Right. Uh, but we also got to put ourselves like in her shoes too and realize that she's out f- thousands of dollars and $50 is not going to be yeah. a good thing to add to her. Well, thing. I hope you understand too. Um, so you have gotten that receipt for the refund here. Um, it may end up in your junk mail. So if you have any questions or concerns, just give us a call. You mean with your contract? Because you know what? Now that you say it, I don't even think I got your contract. I was looking in there yesterday for something else. Oh, because it went to my husband. What email do you have? Um, let me just see again. I'd also like to point out too here that like getting a bad review online on Google or Facebook is not worth us gaining fifty dollars. Not a chance. I think a negative review, who knows what it actually is, but it's probably worth thousands and thousands of dollars. So if somebody is threatening to write us a bad review, it's not worth it. Just give them the full amount back. Apologize, this and that. It's not worth getting a one star negative, especially on Google review, uh, just to save forty, fifty, sixty dollars. It's, it's just not worth it. At that point, just give them the full money back. It's completely fine. Uh, the email that I have is your first name dot last name at gmail dot com. Oh, that's me. Okay. Um, and I have here that Amy sent you the confirmation email shortly after your phone conversation. Yeah, and has it been opened? Um, from the, uh... Has it been opened? Like, you tell me. Have you opened the email? If you didn't get the email, like, let us know. We can resend it to you. But, like, I have no idea to see if you've actually opened the email. Like, and if you have not opened your email, that's not our fault that you didn't open the email. The service that we sent it from, I'm not able to view that. Well, um, let's see. What was the date? Uh, it was sent on May 14th of 2022. May 14th. And I don't have it. So it didn't come to me. Okay. Um, if you would like, I can also send you a copy of that. Um, but what I, I would like is you to have your, your um, manager or your owners or something call me today before 4 o'clock. Okay. I because at 4 o'clock, I'm going to be in the meeting. Okay. Thank I you. I will see what I can do. Thank you. Yeah. So I'd say, like, just to summarize there, I'd say a bit of fault on both sides. Like, uh, I don't think she realized how much of an inconvenience like, she is to a small business like us. Like, she... She'll book in credit card fees, time on the phone, time right here, you know, processing fees, blah, blah, blah. Like, I think 10% is honestly more than fair. I think if anything, 25% cancellation fee is kind of like what it costs us, right? We, there's, there's a cost of like having people on the phone. There's a cost of like having our phone system, our website, this and that, right? So like just to book in and cancel is not convenient for any small business. And I don't think she realized that. I wish she kind of would realize that. Uh, the fault on our side, in my opinion here, is that we didn't really emphasize with the customer of like what she's actually going through. Like, you know, pay the landscaping, all this, she's got to go redo it now. And then she's getting stiff with a $50 cancellation fee. So I think there's fault on both sides in all honesty, like in this call right here, I think we could have handled this a bit better and kind of realized what the actual problem was, what the root issue was. And uh, I think she could have been a bit more empathetic with us about like, you know, how inconvenient it is for her to cancel two days after booking. Um, but yeah, besides that, um, I do know that this did get resolved. So like in a situation like this, she's like, okay, I'm going to write online reviews. I'm going to do all this, do all that. So I know that one of our customer success managers, she, or yeah, she got a call from him right after and then said, okay, I apologize. It's, I understand like what you're going through. Like that must suck to get stiff with like a thousand dollars worth of landscaping work. No worries about that 10% cancellation fee. 
I will return the, whole, the full amount to you. And uh, she was very happy, I know that. And she's not writing us any bad reviews, so that's good as well. So situations like this will happen. It's just uh, it's important to number one, emphasize, put yourself in their shoes. It's really important to do that. Um, as well to like, if somebody is threatening to write an online review, take, like, think about how much that's worth. In my opinion, it's worth thousands. It's, it's impossible to measure, but at least a couple thousand dollars. And know that that $50 or that $10 or that $100 is not worth that one star review. And always keep that in the back of your mind. But besides that, these things happen in business. We just gotta learn how to deal with them, move on to the next person, make the customers happy. And um, yeah, that's pretty much all it is. Thank you guys so much for watching. As per usual, my name is Liam with the company Yard Dogs. Cheers and have a great day.